The purpose of this video is to help you learn how to solve quadratic equations by factoring when the a value is larger than 1. The very first thing we need to do is make sure the equation is in standard form, and if it's not, we need to put it in standard form. After that, we factor the trinomial. Once we've got the trinomial factored into two quantities, we set those two quantities separately equal to zero. This is called the zero product property, which says if two things multiply together equal zero, then one of those things or both of those things must equal zero. From there, we solve each of these easy linear equations and then verify our solutions. Let's take a look at an example down here. Here you can see I have a quadratic formula on the left equaling 8. This is not in standard form, and so what I'll do is I'll subtract 8 from both sides. In doing so, I get 5x squared plus 27x minus 18 equals 0. Now I'm ready to factor. Now in order to factor this trinomial into two quantities, I'm going to have to use the box method. So I'm going to look over here to the right. In the upper left-hand corner, I'll put 5x squared, and in the lower right-hand corner, I'll put negative 18. From here, I need to multiply those numbers together, and I get negative 90x squared. And I'm searching for two terms that make negative 90x squared when I multiply them, but make 27x when I add them. Hmm. That would be 30x and negative 3x. Those multiply together to make negative 90x squared, but add to make 27x. I'll then put one of those terms here, 30x, and the other term on the other box. I'll quickly run the GCF horizontally. These have an x in common, and these have a 6 in common. I'll quickly run the GCF vertically. These have a 5 and an x in common. These have a negative 3 in common. Next, I'll take those two terms x plus 6, put them in one of the quantities, and the other two terms, 5x minus 3, in the other quantity. So I have successfully completed step 3, which is to factor the trinomial and now set equal to 0. Excuse me, that was step 2, factor the trinomial. Step 3 is now to set each piece equal to 0, so I will do that. And I will solve the simple equations. Subtract 6 from both sides, that one's done. Add 3 to both sides, and divide by 5. And now that one's done. My answers are 3 fifths and negative 6.